I've got a free d printer here that my sponsors at Creality tell me has some really cutting edge features, the CR6 SE. It's got a special new high performing back material, new touch screen interface, and a fully automated bed leveling system they say has never been done before. I'm pretty skeptical. We've got some real amazingly creative folks in the red wrap community and there isn't a lot they haven't tried already. So let's unbox this bad boy and see if it's as good as they say. They send me a t-shirt. Yeah, it's their sixth anniversary. Okay, this is the filament. The touch screen, but it comes separately, so I have to put it on myself. Mm, the filament holder. This is actually uh, 3D printed, a 3D printer accessories. Cable. The gantry. Right, so the toolbox is actually hidden underneath here. <laughs> Without the usual box, the paper box come in with all uh, the little bags, they patch them, these are all in one unit, like this. The screws, you're supposed to light before, put the screw underneath here. Wow, even there, they even upgraded the um, brush cutter. All right, let's take a look at the display. Okay, let's switch to English. The uh, touch screen is very sensitive, very responsive. 
not bad. They, it's much better. Looks much better and feels much better. Let's um, peel off the sticker and level the bed. I really like this <laughs> level. Before I level the bed, I have to put in a filament, which means I have to heat up the nozzle. Let's go to uh, prepare, pre hit POA. so much easier to fit the filament in. This is auto-leveling, so I just click auto-leveling. And it will go through all the 16 points on the bed. That's it, we finished the auto leveling. So for all the Ukrainian owner out there, finally we have the real SD card. Not those micro SD card anymore, big deal. Let's put it in. And let's uh, see what's on the card. Let's try to print the 3D Benchy. Print. As you can see, we have a optical switch on our C-axis. That means your first layer is going to be very accurate. Okay, I'm going to show you something really neat. I'm going to apply pressure on their nozzle. You see the blue light going on here? This is their auto leveling system and it is using the string gauge up here. It's very unusual, very cool. Okay, and this is their new extruder. I kind of take it apart. It can handle TPU, no problem. And you can fit the filament foods very smoothly. Uh, so far, there is no problem. I really like it. And I really like this filament holder. You can move it from side to the back. It really depends on how much space you have. Right now, it is 3D printed, but on Kickstarter, it's gonna be injection molded. Straight out of the box, that's a beautiful Benji. Very happy about that. Okay, you need very good tolerance on this model and it came out perfectly. This model printed without support. It's a very challenging model. You, you can see some hair here and there, but this is one of the better prints I have ever seen. Who cares about the print? Who's that model? I don't think I've ever seen such stunning girl in my life. She's beautiful. And from our friend Angus, AKA Maker's Muse, the Torture Kill, a really, really difficult print. It prints out perfectly the first time. I'm so happy to see it. Thanks to Angus for this model. I'm going to link to it in the description box. Okay, a few observations. Obviously, this is almost a finished product. The advantage of crowdfunding is cost. Group orders mean lower prices. The only thing I'd like to see done before it ships is a good variety of slicer profiles and test models on the SD card. This printer is different enough that the profiles of other Creality printers just don't give acceptable results. I think the nozzle and the bed leveling system give good enough results to justify using them over stock reality hardware. My concern is it will be a while before those are available for AliExpress and other online retailers as replacement parts the way most reality parts are. I don't really like only being able to get parts from one vendor. Creality is good about stocking and shipping spare parts but still, it's just my personal preference. In terms of assembly time, usability, and print quality, the CR6SE is a clear winner over my previous favorite, 
the end of it. It's an exceptionally good value and has many of the upgrades that are most common for Creality printers already integrated. Final verdict. The CR6 SE has substantially better print quality out of the box than any other Creality printer I have used or any printer I know of for its price and build area. If you can get it for under $300 to $350, it's a great value. The CR6SE replaces the Ender Free as my pick for the best 3D printer for beginner to buy. Although for very tight budgets, the Ender Free at $200 is still phenomenal. I'll link to the Kickstarter page in the description. That's it for today. I'll see you all next time. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.